All right, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. I'm in a Cherokee again. So today, or in the next couple of videos, what I've got for you is uh, an IPC, instrument proficiency check, with my good friend, Rob, who I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you now. No, that's seven. Seven, two, five, so one, three, three, one. So this is north here? Um, my, my brain can No, that's north. <laughs> so that's Rob. <laughs> uh, he wants to go to an airline, so he needs to, he needs to make himself look as good as he possibly can. So he needs the instrument current. A little disclaimer, you're not going to see everything from the IPC, but you're going to see the fun parts. So let's roll. I don't know, I use the brakes like I'm doing a grumman. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, no you, you don't need to. Yeah. I just realized we weren't recording for that whole time. Oh, really? Yeah. But the whole thing you did? The whole thing for nothing. All right, that's 60. Executive tower November 67. 67 here, so we're bringing the nose up a little bit. 552904, five, left turn northwest down on course is approved. The Cherokee and this the thing is will like be really turning west down in front of you. Run <laughs> Six, two, seven, seven, Welcome zero, to the sky, brother. Welcome seven, to the eight, sky, eight, baby. How are you feeling? Feel good? Yeah. yeah. Alright. A little bit of information about Rob, good old friend Rob. So we he's a helicopter pilot, right? But uh, we converted him, or I converted him. Uh, yeah, we got his private instrument. Didn't do his commercial with me. But uh, he's got all of those fixed wing now. And uh, he wants to go to an airline, right? So to do that, he needs to uh, needs to look good and get his IPC, like I said before. So, for those of you that don't know what an IPC is, instrument proficiency check. Uh, after you get your instrument rating, the first six months after that, you've got a period of where you need to get six uh, instrument approaches, uh, do holding procedures, intercepting, tracking courses, and stuff like that. Within those six months, to be current. If you don't get those done, you've got another six months after that to go with a safety pilot and, uh, and, and do those those items. This guy hasn't done that, so he needs an instrument proficiency check with an instructor, which I'm the instructor. You're not going to get all of the uh, the IPC in these videos, so just don't expect everything. We're just going to get the fun stuff, okay? Like me touching him like this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good <laughs> shit. Alright, get your hood on. Where's your hood? Uh, Where's your, your hood? Get your hood on. Autopilot on. Autopilot's on. 1,300 westbound. All right, hold on. Yeah. Charlie yeah, controls. All right, have it. Yeah, controls. Feels good to be in a light aircraft one, again. Zero, All right, maintain uh, 1,300 and westbound, please. Uh, exactly what you're doing. Uh, and, uh, that's that's the IPC <laughs> done. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> I love those foggles. As if you're wearing sunglasses, I see everything. <laughs> yeah, I know. You got all your peripherals still. You got everything. 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 You're not in the clouds at yeah, all. Exactly. Not the same feeling. Lake Apoca traffic, you've got a pipe of Cherokee with 2,000 feet now on the uh, southeast shore. Lake Apoca, doing some instrument work. Lake Apoca traffic. I uh, got a little bit of traffic high. Give me a heading of 280, please. 10 degrees to the right. Clear on the right. Where's the traffic you're talking about? Uh, it's just coming off the uh, 12 o'clock going out. I see him. Yeah. yeah why, why do you see him? I go like that. <laughs> I don't think I can be a good DIC. Honestly. What do you mean, SIC? SIC, sorry. Why? I'm a good PIC. Okay. <coughs> if you say traffic, I want to see it, right? And I have this person. No, but, no, but that's good. That's good, right. though, because you work as a crew. Right. So, you know, you, you're helping the guy is flying the plane. You're, you're doing everything else. Right. You know, so that's actually good. The guy off the left side as well, that is like 800 feet above. Is that that guy? Yeah, that's, that's going to be that guy. Oh, you see, uh, yeah. ADSB? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. All right, good. I'm seeing, like, why he's... Yeah. Oh, you know, he's done with me. This guy's good. <laughs> he can just eye it. <laughs> All right, let's do some uh, unusual attitudes. Let's talk about unusual we'll attitudes first. So you will fix the pitch. All right, well, that's bank. Well, you will fix the bank and set the pitch, right? So it depends, right? It depends. If you're... Let's say your nose low. Right, right, so cut power. Right. And bring it up and level it. No. Level it and bring it up. Level it and bring it up. All right, if your nose high. Level it. Oh, sorry. Bring it down and then level it. Okay, bring it down. So, nose high, power up. Yeah. 
Nose first. Yeah, that level. Yeah. Reason I'm like is, up there. is that a difference? I want to just right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, no, no. R reason is is if your nose low and you're in a turn, if you're bringing the nose up in in, in a turn. Load factor increases, so you're putting a lot of stress on the wings. So you want to level it first and then uh, raise it. Okay. Nose high, you want to get that nose over first because you want to stop the stall. Right, that's yeah. yeah. more important. Exactly. So. All right, go ahead. I have my right. head, head down. Head down. Close your eyes. I had a lot of whiskey, so don't go bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Woo! <laughs> get your head down. All right, we cover. Over Ashby, Quiver Northwest. There you go. Ooh, that whiskey is kicking in now. <laughs> Actually, this is better than whiskey. All right, recover. All right, so power back all the way. Nose. Why are your eyes not down here? Oh, I looked outside. <laughs> all right, <laughs> we're gonna do another. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this thing because we can't see it. We're gonna do another. <laughs> Right, right, you're right, that's a good point. Yeah, exactly. Look inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheating piece of s***. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> cheating piece of s***. Unbelievable. That's a very good point, I thought I... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was doing visual s***. <laughs> nah, yeah. nah, I'm so chip. It's the Foggles, brother, not me. <laughs> Alright, recover. Alright, so back to the right and then up. Beautiful. Very Beautiful oh, recovery. Alright, yeah, it's simple. Alright, cool. All I right. didn't really do it on purpose. Now we're gonna play a game. Alright, head down, close your eyes, don't look up though. Alright, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me when you feel like we're straight and level. Oh, just feeling? Okay. Yeah, just feeling it. Right. We're not gonna do anything too crazy. Oh, it's all good. But uh, when you feel like we're straight and level. We should do, this know. is straight and level. No. Oh, we got him! <laughs> <laughs> so you thought we were straight and level when we were like this? Yeah, right? everywhere. Right? So yeah, the thing I want to really illustrate is don't trust your body signals, people. Because you'll think that this is straight and level. It's not straight and level. Trust your instruments, okay? It's a good life lesson. Your controls. Now we're straight and level, people. <laughs> Alright, All right, let's go and do uh, some approaches. So, uh, before I talk, let's head... South, that are, oh, actually, we can stay here. Yeah, going towards Lake Apoca. This is this is a good area. You can call them here, and then they'll turn you yeah, down. Yeah, I want to do the setup real fast, so I have to do uh, autopilot on 10,000 feet. He's he's heading west. Oh, my controls. <laughs> autopilot. Oh. That's what we're doing. Helicopter. What do you guys do? Well, when we've got an autopilot, we put it on. But if you don't have an autopilot, that's how you call it, right? Well, when you've got nobody in the right seat, I wouldn't call autopilot. But I should do it while I'm doing this? Exactly. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Uh, 2,000 feet. Uh, <laughs> right, we have Hotel Kissimmee. Hotel. The ATIS stack set up. We're doing it. We're good. So, 9075 here, active. V-Log. Right? Yep. One on the v -log. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Course is 153, 153. Uh, we have ADIS. This is whatever we go by the approach, whatever the tower tells us, right? Yep. And 119.4, we have them on. Where's the TFR? Are you being careful? Yeah, no, the TFR's there, not way, fine. Alright, don't scare me. <laughs> Alright, and uh, we're gonna intercept the localizer at the final approach fix, which is WASI 1200 feet. And we'll go down to 440 if we lose the localizer, if not 282. And 90 knots is gonna be 212. I think that covered everything. That's it. Uh, yeah, Alright, so let's call him. And call. Give me a turn. Uh, uh, give me southbound. Southbound. Here. It's alright. And then give him a call when you get a chance. Alright, 32042, roger, fly your present heading, intercept the localizer, runway 15, active semi. Advise when you have information, hotel, please. We have hotel uh, at this heading and we'll advise when we intercept uh, 042 days. We gotta remember at WADZ to start the clock in case we lose the localizer. I teach it. Approach, Cherokee, Helicopter. Four, three, 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 but you, you know, you don't fly it. Yeah, exa teach exactly. You teach it. Exactly. Exactly. Look at this. ATP style. Pretty accurate. I like it. I'm yeah, happy with my just, stuff. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's actually bad. pretty f***ing good, yeah. Don't say not bad. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. I'm playing it down. Playing it down. That's the British thing to do. That's f***ing amazing, man. Oh. Yeah. Number zero four two, hold northwest of Warpo. Um, maintain BFR at two thousand five hundred for your sequence. 
I will hold north of Warpo 2500 zero four two. Oh, it's a direct entry, basically. Yeah. Literally, I've never been given a real-world hold. That's hilarious. November 042, join the localizer now inbound. Defend and maintain VFR 2000. 2000, join the localizer. 042, 32042, contact Kissimmee Tower 124.45. 2445, uh, 042. Nearly set silver wings there. Jesus. Actually, that's it. We should uh, go down to 1200 here. Kissimmee Tower, uh, Cherokee 042 with you on ILS uh, 15. 32042, Kissimmee Tower, Roger, continue report at Wazi. Report at Wazi, 042, thanks. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're left, of course. Alright, All right, so we're waiting for the glide stop to come alive, and at zero here, I'm gonna start the clock. If we end up losing it, we're gonna go a little bit different to 440. Now it's 282 for the ILS. Roger. Let me wake up a little bit. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Alright, so we're lowering it here. Bravo, little ground, 275 miles. perfect. Everything good here, so I gotta follow the glide slope a little bit to yes, fix sir. it. And tower 042, uh, have you got missed approach instructions for us? 3042, on the go, turn right heading 270, maintain 2000. Traffic half a mile south, that'll be 500 feet and below. Helicopter will be landing off the right side of the final. Roger, looking for the chopper. We've got the traffic ahead of us inside as well, Cessna, and, uh, 270 on uh, tw uh, 2000 for silver, uh, 042. Keep doing it, man. Because oh, you're like me saying helicopter, helicopter yeah. with a clap at me. All right, we have no warning lights. Everything looks good. Light slope is okay. I'm fine. The f***ing trim. There we go. Now I got it. Just take a quick peek at that airspeed. Airspeed's a little bit high. Right, because I was pushing down to yeah, so reach this. Back off the power a little bit. Right, about 1900 or so should be fine. Gives you about a 500 foot per minute descent. 700. So we gotta watch for 282. Five, number two, clear to land, to ADP circle. style, baby. <laughs> I had to fight it a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> Look at that, bang on 90 knots. Crosshairs. Alright, so we have visual now, we can go visual. 282, we're gonna go. Next, we have visual, we can go visual. No. No? no. Not yet? You tell me. Taking it down to minimums. Alright, so you tell me. The minimums, you can look up. I'm just gonna give you my glasses to be able to land it. Yeah, no problem. Alright, 300. Right? Alright, we'll go. Thank you, sir. They're gonna come down. Nice. Beautiful. So just a little, little feedback on that. Towards the end of that, it was a little bit unstable. Yeah, because I was right, looking to go visual. Go visual. Go visual. Right, right, right. right. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're going to end this video. Stay tuned to the channel for uh, the next video. We're doing a, a localizer approach in the Kissimmee followed by an r -nav. I'm going to fly the r because I've not done an approach in a uh, light aircraft for quite a while. So that should be fun. And thanks for watching. Say thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Get your head down on the instruments. Bye.